chances are your airplane has at least one of these. And chances are you don't pay much attention to it unless it looks flat. And by then, hey, maybe too late. Just about all general aviation airplanes, it has an oleo strut. Cessna's up to twins. Piper, Cessna's, Beechcraft, they all have them. Oleo pneumatic shock absorbing struts. Most folks call them oleos and they have a tough job. They have to absorb up to a 3G hard landing, but they're pretty simple. A small amount of hydraulic fluid is kept under pressure by nitrogen gas in a strut cylinder. A piston attached to the aircraft wheel slides back and forth, compressing the gas which absorbs the energy when hitting the runway. Lose gas or fluid and the strut collapses. Cold weather has an effect on it. Usually our biggest strut time of the year is right after the first freeze. Andre is an A&P mechanic with inspection authorization and he says your strut should be serviced at least once a year. And here's some good news. There's now a cheaper, better way to do it. Oh, it's cut the labor in half. We can, you know, do it in an hour, hour and a half and to where before it'd take up to three hours. He uses an innovative system from Bogart Aviation. Woody Diamond of the Northeast Bonanza Group did the work on my airplane under Andre's supervision. The process is simple. Drain the old fluid, flush the strut with some new fluid, then pump in the right amount of fluid and nitrogen. Need one more. So much better than the old one. There you go, perfect. Andre explains the savings. This is cool. well, half of the labor if we'd have to jack it because you're looking at probably two guys, 15 to 25 minutes to get it on jacks, then drain the fluid out of it manually, and then you have to pump it out by hand. Hope that you get it clean and then you know start all over and fill it let it back down and then like woody said when you use a regular nitrogen bottle on it you'll get a violent jump because you can't control the pressure so this is like an easy way to do it it's safer and here's what you can do to keep your strut in good condition between service periods struts are dirty what happens it allows that dirt to go up in under those seals to contaminate the seal it, it dries the seal out, makes the seal sh actually shrink to let the air by, and sometimes fluid. A pilot can, you know, keep an eye on the struts, keep them clean is the main thing. 5606 hydraulic fluid, do not use automotive fluid. And on a, you know, damp towel, wipe them off, that cleans it. Also puts a little lubrication on the strut tube. So as a pilot, from an operational standpoint, what, what, do you, what feels different about it when you got the struts where they need to be? The airplane holds the ground better and also your landings are more uh, positive. There's no bouncing or anything else. They're more positive when you reach the ground. And the fact of the matter is, when one of these things let go because you don't maintain them and keep them healthy, you're gonna be in the middle of nowhere where there's no strut, and then you're gonna be sitting there, what do I do? And you're gonna have a flat strut, and that's an unhappy airplane and gives unhappy pilot and passengers. Right. So I learned a lot going out there for uh, you know just a couple of hours, and uh, you know the struts we overlook them all the time, and you know they just kind of are there. But uh, you know, the ones in my airplane are 45 years old, and I'm sure they've been serviced a few times over the years, but they just keep working away. Why? Well, not not something you think about until you really need them. Right. So, so then you do have good. to pay attention. But. <laughs>